there and play some defense against him. Celtics control. Wedman coming around. Barkley staying with him. You're going to like Charles Barkley. He's really lit up NBA arenas wherever he's going. Wedman misses the first shot of the game. Uh, Barkley on the outside. I saw one up. Cheeks dribbling around with four seconds to go. Moses Malone hits from the baseline. And of course, that guy is like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to the Lakers. Outside shots for the Celtics. Maybe they don't know he's not in there yet. Come on. Alley-oop and a dramatic one with Barkley one-handed from Julius Irving. Speaking of Kevin McHale, he has a sore left Achilles tendon. And with four days off after this game, the Celtics don't want to take any chances. Three minutes gone by, opening period. Austin Philly, another revival. Malone inside. And the foul was against the Celtics. Matty Gukas says that they're counting with this unit to play better de defense, create the other team to miss more, therefore increase their fast break opportunity. Jones gets free and inside and is fouled. Ten on the shot clock. Malone, most of his shots have been from out there. Rebound Bird, here comes Boston. Take Wedman did a great job of blocking off Barkley. Harris going strong inside. Wedman baseline. And the Celtics have now hit six of seven from the... Barkley giving room to Wedman. They go inside to Parrish. They're not doubling Parrish at this point. Cheeks looking for Malone. Good position inside for Malone, and he's fouled. Robert Parrish with his first foul of the ballgame. Instead of McHale being in there, so they're going to move it around an awful lot. Barkley hasn't figured that much so far. Has a shot blocked by Parrish. Here come the Celtics. Cheeks trying to slow up Ain. The trailer is Wetman, wide open. Malone with the rebound. Basket, but Bird anticipated it beautifully. They look for Parrish, who's far out. Goes baseline and gets fouled himself. Good move inside by Robert Parrish. Robert Parrish up the other end of the court. Knows when to go for the block to leave Moses Malone. Sometimes players don't leave Moses Malone. And Barkley would have scored a late. And Boston wanting to make the Sixers play a half-court offense. They've certainly succeeded there. Looking for Moses Malone. Shooting over Larry Bird is Julius Irving, and it drops through. So the doctor. So Dale three, the other guard in there. Three guard situation with Julius Irving moving up front. Not a bad defensive player is Sedale. They're going to have a loose ball foul called against the Celtics. And it's on Robert Parrish, and that will be his second personal foul. Isolated for the moment. Fall away. Julius. And a loose ball foul has been called against Charles Barkley. No, check that. Scott Wedman is first. Here's Bill Walton coming into the ball game, replacing Parrish, who goes out with two personal fouls. Uh, we're going to see some physical stuff. Wedman takes a quarter from nobody. Look at all the bumping and shoving underneath there. That's all happening while the ball is being shot. You've got to live in the paint to be a real basketball player. The Celtics hope that this second unit can some and pick up the tempo of the game to boot. Bill Walton. Against the line. Bill Walton dominated Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Wednesday night as the Celtics beat the Lakers here, and you're looking at a reborn basketball player. Irving. Bird tried for the fake, and Irving burned him with a stuff shot. And it's now a 23-21 ball game in favor of the Celtics. Wetman guarded by Julius Irving. Good switching by Philadelphia defensively. And Walton hits the deck and a foul inside. Not going to be any picnic for Walton against Moses Malone today, or Barkley for that matter. Watch Walton just take it strong to Moses. Moses, pretty cagey defender. Uh, when he's facing the ball, he really doesn't foul a lot. But he sure did let him get the angle. And there's a poor play by Bird, and Dr. J alert to take advantage of it. First foul on Malone. Wetman using a Walton screen hits. Eight points for Scott Wetman. Here is Ainge, and here are the Celtics running. They have a four on two. Seasting. He hit five in a row against the Warriors. Oh. Uh, 
Malone gets the rebound as Bird tried to convert. Second unit is picking up the pace for the Celtics. Irving going in against Walton. And as this game heated up. But you know what's so interesting about that play? You have to play that Moses in that low post very precisely. They're giving all kinds of picks to delay the man that's defending him. A man-sized job to deny Moses' position down there. The Celtics have replaced Larry Bird with David's third kill, number 45. As Moses Malone goes in with the shot, the rebound by Charles Barkley inside and just overpowers any everyone there to bring the Sixers to within two. Walton outside, guarded by Malone, ceasing by three and over Cheeks on a mismatch. Wedman misses and Barkley into the game with the outlet pass to Cheeks. Barkley becoming more of an impact player here with two minutes remaining in the opening period. Malone gets by Walton with his quickness and we have a tie ball game at 25. Seasting wide open. Walton with the offensive rebound. And there's Wedman and the Celtics are killing Philadelphia. And uh, they're starting to get that part of their game together. Three missing outside, but there's Malone. Loses the ball. Barkley, no whistle. And it'll be a Boston foul. Celtics are into the penalty. Here's the board work by Boston. Well, that's great position by Walton as he really kept Moses underneath. And Moses tried to fake a foul on him. But watch Scott Wedman just hanging around there. Okay. Very important now why Bird is back in this ball game With Walton and Bird uh, rebounding, they are the two best position that they have. So they might try to really form that three-man attack up very quickly. Sixers have three and Cheeks in the back. They have 15 on the shot clock. That's time remaining in the first period. Walton, pass inside, knocked away. Third cuts of the Celtics this year, brought back when Sly Williams was let go. Walton can't bank it in. Malone with his fifth rebound. Well, he likes to play with that type of player. Clement Johnson has come in the game for Moses Malone, and uh, he could be a key man for the Sixers to play a role. Did Clement Johnson with four block shots and six points. An interesting matchup going on right now. Bird having to guard Barkley. Barkley gets the point there, and the Sixers have tied it up at 29. Bird against Bobby Jones. Tough defender, and you saw why there. Here's Barkley. They don't mind him dribbling the ball up the court. Pretty much in control. Not the shot, but the dribbling. And we'll have a foul against the Sixers. That... Walt works against Clement Johnson and draws the foul. That's exactly what the Celtics want Walton, their second center, do against Clement Johnson, the backup pivot man for Philly. We'll right. talk about the fatigue factor later on. That could come into play. Absolutely, Dick. And they count on Moses being strong in the fourth quarter. It's kind of done away with his effectiveness a little bit. Robert Parrish, who came out of the game early with two fouls, will be coming in when we come back. 940 remaining in the second period. Seasting in particular ended that chance for a break. Barkley looking at three points. Drives against Walt. Blocks the shot. Good play by Bill Walt. That's why the Celtics got him, but three strip Seasting. Barkley and Walt battling and the Celtics wind up on the plus side. Walton is not that mobile as Barkley but watch what he does. He covers his shooting hand and he makes Barkley bring the ball down and double pump. That is really a bad habit that Barkley's been getting into shooting out the ball on the way down instead of on the way up. Seeing Bill Walton who goes out with four rebounds and good defense inside for the Celtics. Barkley for three. And Larry Bird clear. Much scoring, although a lot of acrobatics in the last couple of minutes. Sixers by one. Harris. Barkley another rebound. Barkley is in the top ten in rebounding in the NBA, second behind Malone on the six. Now to Michigan State also chip. Fourteen fouls on Philadelphia. And now it'll be five as Clement Johnson fouls Harris. Parrish hits the free throw. He looks as my predecessor, Billy Cunningham. I just don't show it as much. And I'll tell you the truth. He Irving is guarding Bird. Parrish over Malone, way off. But there's Bird. Larry Bird, that shot. We have had three ties. 
and six lead changes in this game. Malone can't convert the reverse layup. Explosive fast breaks of two teams. This is the explosive slowdown game of both teams. Well, you got to play this kind of style, too, and a lot of times in the playoffs, you end up playing half court. Inside basketball. Harris knocks the ball away. Conjures up memories of what he did against the Lakers two years ago in the championship series. Quick hand. You know, both teams have the ability to break down the other team's half-court offense. Harris gets free and gets an easy basket. Moss. Irving. Short. Over eight. Oh, Tip. Oh, no. Good by Moses Malone. Eight points for Malone. 420 remaining in the first half. Oh, Want to get Parrish underway. And he is fouled from behind by Perry Moss. Sixers are in the penalty. Two shots anyway. And here's Barkley coming back in, replacing Catley. Amazing how tough it is for rookies who have been such great stars. Right about now, they've played a full, an entire college season. And uh, they say they, they see no end in sight. They might... Both teams going deep into their bench, and they did it early in this one. Moss penetrating, dishing off nicely to Barkley, who's fouled. Good play by Moss inside. He was traded to the Bullets for Kenny Green, the small forward. Andrew tony has been injured. And for Philadelphia, if he comes back healthy. Down the stretch, you better believe the Celtics. Johnson gets Moss in the air, and Barkley blocked it from behind. Well, DJ, they're trying to break the rookie down. But the rookie's muscling him pretty good. Terry Moss exhibiting the kind of poise the Sixers like. Why they kept him. But Barkley loses it inside. With three minutes remaining in the first half. Celtics lead by two. Harris from Bird and a foul. A touch pass from Larry Bird set that up. Take a look at what broke on this day. The difference between two teams fast breaking wise is that the Celtics are able to have some outside shooters that created that movement that time by Malone. He has to go out and respect Bird's ability to. Robert Parrish has been a reinvigorated ball player this year with the addition of Walton. He doesn't have to play a lot of minutes and he can run a lot harder and bang a lot more and doesn't have to worry about his fouls. In a lot of ways we're talking about two men two centers. Malone, who has a break because of Barkley's play, and Parrish, who has a break this year because of Walton's presence. And again, we've got to remind you that Kevin McHale did not dress today for the Celtics. Bobby Jones rolls off, and it's still Sixers ball as Parrish hits the floor. 2.43 remaining, and a new 24-second clock. Rebounding. Malone. Parrish. It's not a good play by Malone, because... Celtics lead by four points, 225 in the period, eight on the shot clock, double team on Dennis Johnson. Goes right around Perry Moss, blocked by Malone, and a foul. No, check that, a three, no, it is a foul on Dennis Johnson. No one's been able to run, though, effectively in this game. You got it, Dick, I'm surprised. <laughs> Barkley crashing in, and the basket counts in a foul. Wedman was guarding him, but Danny Ainge moved over to double team him, and that's <laughs> where the problem arose. Dennis the Menace got in front of the locomotive. Watch this. Barkley loves to go to his left and take it strong. There's Danny Ainge. That shook up his blonde hair a little bit. Celtics will have to take a close look at that. Barkley with a three-point play. Two minutes to go. First half. Biggest lead was seven by the Celtics. Bird loses it out of bounds. And that was Barkley who really kind of forced Bird away. That was a nice defensive job. That's where he's been having difficulty. Three fouls on Webman. He goes out. Replaced by Walton, who's out guarding Barkley, who misses the shot. Long rebounds, and Bird looks down court. Parrish is beating everyone down there. Parrish can run the court as well as any center in the NBA. alley misses with Malone from Jones. Three-point Boston lead, trying to raise it up before the halftime. And Dennis Johnson called for another offensive foul. That was a terrible call, Dick. That was a terrible call. Here comes Dennis Johnson making his move. And Barkley is not in there as he went up. That's a terrible call. So Dennis Johnson and Scott Wedman have three fouls for the Celtics. Clement Johnson in the doctor, three for Philly, and they're going to call that foul on Barkley, and Barkley agrees with the official. For Barkley, 
That's his first. Barkley has such a difficult job playing guys in the low post. He can be aggressive or he can be quick. He can use his feet. He's got great foot movement, but he hasn't quite decided what style he's going to try and use to play the low post. You know, I'll tell you, though, Barkley has improved. He's certainly more under control when calls go against him now. And he really has taken over this team. People say it's now Charles Barkley's team in Philadelphia. And I believe it. He's the guy that called for the meeting with the ball players that the, uh, the owner walked in on. And he's trying to assume all kinds of leadership for this ball club in every department. They were 11 and 12. They won 17 of 19. 36 seconds to go. Seasting. Walton setting a screen. And if the foul is called. It'll be on Moss. One point lead for the Celtics. Celtics doubled and uh, deep and uh, Dr. J found cheeks all alone to prove it to me player. He proved it. Working running Irving into a screen. Rebound is by Barkley and they're going to jump it up an awful lot Dick uh, and against the big guy is a real challenge to a Dennis John Irving gets to tip his way in the easy two matches the biggest lead that Philadelphia amassed in the first half. Barkley is on bird. The basket would have counted. Malone. He had to delay that shot. Yeah, Danny Ainge is helping in the rebound department very nicely. Harris tried to draw the foul. It was last touched by a sixer. Out of bounds, still Boston ball. And nothing we've seen in the first minute and a half so here to get this crowd stirring yet. Speed play. Right. Cool. Celtics by one. Nine on the shot clock, and Julius knocks it from behind. The duck, Dennis Johnson, and goes in. Trying to slow up the Celtics even more. And now we have an away from the ball foul against Charles Barkley. Here are the starters. Isaiah Thomas and Sidney Moncrief will be the starters in the backcourt. Larry Bird and Julius Irving won the fans' ballot for forward, and Moses Malone, Dr. J's teammate, will be the center. Michael Jordan was selected by the fans to start, but because of his injury, he couldn't, and Sidney Moncrief, who was third, will start. Short, Bobby Jones the rebound. Cheeks to Barkley. Back to Cheeks. Great pass by Barkley. Play defense against the top scorer up front. He's done that really well with Bird so far in the game. And we'll have a foul against Robert Parrish, and that will be four, three on Robert Parrish. So he can guard him and create some problems defensively for Dr. J. Alone. Push. Is it Parrish? It is, and that's four on Parrish right now. Well, the Celtics, that's their major portion of their starting. Because of the four foul situation, Parrish has to sit down, and Bill Walton comes back in the ball game. In the first half, Walton had five rebounds and five points in nine minutes. Well, maybe now the Celtics will be able to get their fast break on track. Philadelphia have been perfect shooting hand. Boy, and he's got such long arms, he destroys your rhythm. In and out for Seasting. Boston Garden. Malone double team. Cheeks goes up. Basket count and a foul. He didn't always do that, Maurice Cheeks. Uh, he's turned himself loose a little bit more. He kind of was like, I'm going to fit in type of player. And now he's kind of taking more charge of what's going on. And he's doing it very effectively this season. Foul was on Walton. And Seasting and Ames in the backcourt. Bird and Whitman up front. Walton is the center. Foul trouble on both sides. Bird. He really hasn't gotten a track outside. Still hasn't. Barkley clears. Meanwhile, Bill Walton commits his second personal foul at the other end, sending Moses Malone to the line. David's third kill. They have 20 points. And this is what the coach's chess game is all about. 6.25 to go in the third. Malone against Walton. Illegal defense against the Celtics, and that'll be the second time that's been called. So a technical call against the Boston crew. Barkley inbounds to three. 
Nine point lead. Alone. Third kill the rebound. Celtics looking to close the gap. And then KC will put his big guns back in there. Wolf, good feed from Seaston. Points for him. Wetman open. Barkley the rebound. Get the break going. Rebound and play defense. It all works for Philly this way. Malone overplays and gets the steal. Well, that time he made the good gamble. Three wide open, and he's been a hot shooter today. Not that time. But there's Barkley. What a rebound there. What a terrific rebound by Charles Barkley. Went right in between Bill Walton and Scott Wedman. Look at him out. Hustle is a much bigger player. And now they can't even get at him. He just. The guard position. They get the forward spot as he penetrates and misses the shot. Feasting was never able to handle it cleanly. 11 point lead for the Sixers. Malone, who has 10 points. Three. Leave him open. They gamble on three. He misses his second in a row. But there's Barkley. Barkley again. And Barkley went underneath when the ball went over the top to try to save it there. He couldn't, but what a hustle by Charles Barkley. Bird wants to get on track. Walton puts it in. And you could feel the Celtics start to come alive with Cheeks penetrating inside baseline. And that'll quiet him down. Cheeks with 16. Pushing it up quickly. Eve. Short. Walton again. Picking up the pace of the game, the Celtics. And that crowd is helping them. Barkley is looking for a possible three. Walton comes from behind for a defensive play. He said he liked the big games. Here's Bird for three. can title this the Bill Walton show here when you push the ball at the defense things like this happen even when you have a miss Walton will come with a good hustle and get good position on the offensive board he's very very important on his second unit to give things like that here defensively is where he also shines third kill was beaten the team defender comes out picks it off and really helps the Celtics heads get back into the game Sedale three. Malone the other side. Fights his way. That's patented Malone, but it didn't drop. I tell you, Walton's doing it all for the Celtics, and Barkley's been doing it all for the Sixers. But now Larry Bird has come to play. Defending against Barkley. And now there's skirmish inside third kill winds up with it cheeks has hit all six of his shots this period Wolf. helping out he's in his free safety defensive posture barkley for three he wasn't looking for a three-pointer and had to stop it with a good hoop that was not a good shot 30 seconds 12 on the shot clock Wolf again The Celtics have regained the lead, and Walton has hit five out of five here in this period. Eight on the shot clock. Cheeks has also been perfect. Malone. Foul. And Harvard, all right. <laughs> which isn't which is perfect. And paid off. Terry Catledge checks into the ball game, replacing Charles Barkley who looks like a defense attorney talking to the jury box. <laughs> and Philly comes up with nothing. Not even the ball. Bird, final shot of the period. It's good. They have more potential low post players than the Celtics do. Bobby Jones is on Larry Bird to try to quiet him down. Harris misses third. Teams he played with last year. Been in the Continental Basketball Association. Celtics like what they saw at camp this year. 
Clement Johnson follows up on at six points. Now Robert Parrish let Clem Johnson just block him out. Parrish is playing with four fouls on the turnover. Philadelphia usually does well with these. Cheeks gets the layup, and now it's a four-point game. 20 points for Maurice Cheeks. Robert Parrish is so important. He's really only a low-post player they can go to. And they've gone to him right now, doubling with Cheeks. Seasting, he's the man who has to beat him, but he tried to force a pass, and Bobby Jones right into his hand. Sixers coming right back. Boy, and they had a nice opportunity to fast break that time, the Sixers, but Jay pulled it out. Inside, block shot, Irving, and Barkley missed it. Barkley again, Barkley again. And it's 88 to 86, but the game is oh, gone. Listen, he's, a, he's a guy at this point in the ball him. game that they go to and they count on to effectively demolish the defense of the other team. There's Kevin Barkley, meanwhile, with 21 points and 14 rebounds. So this is the time of the game when uh, the battering takes its effect. Well, here's the guy that's really got to produce Robert Parrish. And he has it. He sure has it. Cheeks. Barkley comes out of nowhere and follows it up. He has taken over this ball game as Charles Barkley. He has nine offensive rebounds. Sparked the Boston rally in the third period. And now the Celtics will have a real big ball club in there. Parrish, Walton, and Bird. They should be able to do some damage or better damage on the offensive and defensive board. And 10 lead changes in this game. And what else is new in Philadelphia and Boston tangle? DJ Irving. Elbow inside. Missed shot. Lee Jones trying to make life miserable for Bird. Harris guarded by Barkley. Now that's what I mean. Clem Johnson either has to play Walton or Robert Parrish. Barkley now has to play one of those big guys. Here comes Malone and three for Philadelphia. Irving and Clem and Johnson sit down. Lakers can match the Sixers offer, and they have until January 31st to do it, and they just may do it. Barkley inside. Great move by Charles Barkley. Scoring a lot of points. <laughs> for three. He's already hit a trio of those shots. Oh, what a rebound and what an outlet pass. Now Danny Ainge broke it up. Great play by Danny Ainge. He puts a move and a half on Bill Walton. Look at this mobility for a tank. Just wheels around and swoops in. And watch this rebound. He's rebounding against a bigger Bill Walton. He just gets him out of the way and takes it down. Malone misses. Boston ball. Celtics to take the lead will go to the line to try to do just that. Position probably would be Catledge. And Harris misses two. Celtics could have tied it or take stick. The next guy off the bench would have been uh, Dr. J. Sure. Barkley misses. And it's still Philadelphia ball. Whether it's Catledge or Dr. J, Bobby Jones is their best defense. Came off that pick, firing. 99-96 Philly. And they're going to call Barkley for the foul. Four on Charles. He is an electrifying player, though, on both ends. Watch this here. I mean, he reminds <laughs> me of Mark Fidrich of uh, the, the Tigers, the pitcher. You know, they used to jump up and down when he thought something was going right or wrong. That's what Barkley does. Well, BS next Saturday at 2 o'clock Eastern. Here is this great matchup today, and both have come on spectacular fashion. Well, Bird had the cold hands in the first half, but he certainly, certainly heated up here in the second half. Barkley has done it all. Rebounds, passes, some pretty decent defense and scoring. It's Barkley's team now, the Philadelphia 76ers. Walton going in. Barkley gets the rebound. Boston leads 2-1 to one in their season series. And Malone loses it out of bounds. Uh, not been that effective. And he's guarding Larry Bird. So uh, without Bobby Jones, Walton has a shot blocked by Barkley. And Walton comes back. 17 points for Bill Walton. Back and forth, Barkley, and then, and then they go right at Barkley the other end. Cheeks to Barkley. The nail three to midcourt. That's what happens when the spectacular doesn't work. You lose a basket. No soft touch there. Walton knocks it away. Barkley, oh. short. Been successful going to Walton. Irving is on Bird. Walton sneaking from behind on the weak side. 
It rolls off. So Bill Walton has missed two close-in shots in the last minute. And Barkley with 20 rebounds. Turnover. Here come the Celtics. We're going to see the Celtics really try to work on Charles Barkley. And here, Barkley loses his concentration. But look what happens when Walton gets the ball. I mean, Barkley really has improved in this department. He challenges a much bigger player, bats it away, and gets Walton thinking and makes Walton miss it again. Uh, finally, he goes back in. Uh, the complete play of Barkley is phenomenal. He has provided some real in inspiration. Front. Parrish guarded by Barkley right now. Ainge looking for him. Edging his way in. Cheeks causes the turnover. Great play by Maurice Cheeks. Three on one break for Philadelphia. Malone has his shot blocked by Dennis Johnson. Barkley and DJ go after it. And it's Boston ball. Great hustle on both ends. But Moses should have never dribbled up the court. Eight and no baskets in the second half. One point lead for Philly and Bobby Jones. Cheeks and Jones. New clock for Philadelphia. Malone, blocked by Paris. We are seeing stellar defense at both ends by both teams. Bird. Watch this defense by Robert Paris. He's just sitting there waiting on it. Got aggressive. Now, with the good push-up, the defense doesn't get quite back. You've cracked some of their big people. It allows Bird to come in strong. Moses has to make a foolish foul for Walton. Barkley working on Walton. Blocked by Walton. Barkley baseline. Malone, the offensive rebound. And the foul. Barkley and Malone. Relentless, and the Sixers have a chance to tie the game. Well, there's Barkley coming to the middle. Walton cuts him off at the pass, but look at this. That good spin move, but he shoots the ball on the way down, and sometimes that's what, I think that habit has to be eliminated in Barkley's game. But he hustles, and he almost scores the best. Five fouls on Robert Parrish. He doesn't do it, and Walton gets another rebound. A big miss. And Barkley clobbers Walton and will help him up. And Walton saying thanks a lot. They had a foul to give. Or no, it is not. That was their fifth foul. So they have a possession, so they didn't waste too much of the clock. I thought it was a pretty good foul. Sure you get a shot at it. Walton is four for seven at the line. Now, what the Sixers will have to do is find the matchup that they think can produce. The two big men at the free throw line has caused this situation to be what it is. Barkley is six for thir 33 from three points. Cheeks goes in and draws the foul. He was going up against Bill Walton. And Cheeks will go to the line with 29 seconds to go. So Philadelphia knows it will get the ball back again. For an easy layup. Cheeks four for four from the line and a one-point Boston lead. Johnson trying to use time up. Cheeks trying to save it and he can't do it. All the way down for the Sixers to do something with. So they know they have to come up with a good shot. They will probably work it down till there's only six seconds left on a 24-second clock and make sure that on the shot, if it's missed, that they can get a rebound. So Walton and Parrish will be banging the boards. Make everybody look, and, and Walton likes to go set a pick and roll for him. Ten seconds, nine on the shot clock. One point Boston lead. Bird can't get it off, fires it up. And Walton keeps it alive for Boston, and they can run out the clock. And a Philadelphia foul, but it was Bill Walton who came up with a big play. It's 105, 102, three seconds to go. What he did, especially with Kevin McHale unable to play today, 19 points, 13 rebounds. Light Beer from Miller is proud to present a check for $1,000 to the National Multiple Sclerosis Foundation on behalf of Bill Walt. He gave him those points, inside points, key baskets. When Parrish couldn't produce them, he did, and that enabled them to open up the game a little bit. And he really did a number on Moses, too, at times. And he came up with the key rebound. 
off that miss by Bird. Here's the big play by Walton, preventing Philly from getting the ball back. Well, there's Bird forced to take the shot, but Walton coming, and what the Celtics always wanted to do is they don't worry about the shot. Let's get the rebound, and Walton right there. Julius will now inbound this side. Robert Parrish playing down the sideline like that forces the ball to come back to the middle. Barkley is fouled. And he'll go to the line and shoot two now with two seconds to go, knowing that two shots will leave you one short. Okay. Nine for nine from the line is Barkley, but he's got to make that first one. He does. Here it is. It's off the rim. Parrish has it. The game is over. And the Boston Celtics have won their eighth consecutive game. Beating the Philadelphia 76ers 105 to 103.